Hello there, you beautiful people. I'm back once again, this time for the review of the MG Zeta Gundam Verka, a old but beautiful nonetheless kit from Bandai that wears bell bottoms and it can transform. I painted some details in metallic blue to give it a two tone vibe. It was a smooth and beautiful build, as you would expect from Bandai kits. I really like this kit, so let's check out the unboxing. And here it is, a beautiful illustration on the front. Look at that stance! That pose will steal your girlfriend. On the sides we have a beautiful selfie. On the other side shows all the extras and some gimmicks and on the other side we have the transformation. Let's have a look inside. We have some beautiful white, nice plastic. Some nice grey for the inner frame and the pink beam sabers. Look at that beautiful silver. Oh my god! Some matte black and blue. Beautiful yellow and red. Some good quality water slides. Matte black once again. And the detailed instruction guide manual. Everything was nicely explained, no problems there. You will also find uh, some history of the kit and other information. And at the end are the transformation steps and the detailed decal map with some custom color suggestions if you want to paint it. Once again a very nice manual in general. And here's the finished kit without any panel lining or decals. The only thing that I did is some painting on the chest hands and some small details. This is how it looks freshly built. Looks really clean, but I don't like the clean. I put work in these kits to look as cool as possible, but even without any work done, still looks really nice. And the build was smooth as butter. Here's the kit panel lined with all the decals and it looks awesome but let's check out some articulation first. The foot moves left and right and back and especially front and back because of the transformation. Front guard moves up and down. I painted the thrusters gold and this part here detaches from the leg, look! Part of the transformation once again, very nice. The front skirt is attached to a ball point and moves freely. That front part opens up and reveals the cockpit with the pilot inside. Looks like the pilot is sitting on a toilet.
Those blue fins moves up and down. Fist moves in 360 degrees and I painted that blue part there. Elbow up and down and arm also moves 360. That part on the shoulder moves because of the transformation. The side skirt moves freely and they come off easily, but not a big deal. And besides that, that front small part opens. And you can remove the sable handle like this and store it inside the skirt like this. You can remove it easily again and put it back again on the saber. Nice gimmick. The wings also have some articulation. You can see where the wings are attached. That uh, these are also part of the transformation. The back fin also moves. Look at those nice decals. It, it detaches so you can transform freely. And the wings also extend in two parts. The second fin is nicely hidden inside and they extend to make a big wing. The back skirt basic movements up and down and I painted gold the thrusters. The kit also has some nice up and down ab movement, but not so much on the sides, left and right. But I don't think it, think it needs it. The head also moves 360 and in all directions freely. It can also extend a little bit. Beautiful head. I also painted that side parts black. You also have a nice knee bend and uh, when the knee bends, the back thrusters also move. It's a little bit finicky because of the transformation, but not too bad. Look at that power slide pose. Let's look at the rifle for, uh, rifle for a sec. I painted that front part and the cable at the top silver. That front part can, can extend and go back. It's not very smooth though. Care not to break it. And look at those beam sabers with the, with the beautiful black handles. I rarely, I rarely, rarely, <laughs> I rarely, I usually don't like the beam sabers, but those look really nice. They are not full see-through, they are a bit foggy 
and matte and they look uh, nicer than usual and this is the small miniature that the kit comes with this is the pilot i think it's camille bidan i painted it a little bit so it can reveal some details and looks nice it's a nice miniature And that's the grenade launcher pack with the decals looks really nice and it attaches to the forearm and if you move the pack up and down it reveals the rockets the hatch opens up and it can close up again not very smooth but but it's a nice detail nonetheless And here's the shield, a really nice looking shield. It's a nice design with the decals looks even uh, uh, better. That front part moves cause because uh, of the transformation. And the whole shield extends and retracts uh, also. And you can attach it to the forearm like that. Looks really cool. Those are the extra parts that you left with. Some extra hands and other small parts. And a stand attachment, but sadly no stand, as usual. If you want to see the transformation and some, some other information, uh, visit Gundam Info online and you will find a lot of uh, info about the kit and the full transformation guide. Also, I tried transforming mine, by a, but I broke the leg in the end at a small joint, so be careful. I glued it back together, but it cannot transform anymore. I don't think there goes my 80 euros and there you have it my fellow enthusiasts the complete look of the Zeta Gundam it came up really nice in the end although I broke a leg and I ruined the paint on the chest because I used some mark fit for the decals still looks really nice and I love the retro look and the nostalgia is up the roof a beautiful kit nice quality and smooth build a bit expensive i paid 80 euros for this kit and once again without a stand but that's the bandai prices so what can you do you play you pay for premium premium shit next week i review a third party kit that looks awesome so stay tuned Thanks for watching, like the video if you liked it and consider subscribing for more videos. Bye!